హలో అండి నమస్తే ఐమ్ డాక్టర్ సునీత నరెడ్డి కన్సల్టెంట్ ఇన్ఫెక్షస్ డిజీజెస్ అట్ అపోలో హాస్పిటల్స్ హైదరాబాద్ టుడే వీ విల్ బి టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ ది కామన్ మిత్స్ అబౌట్ మలేరియా అండ్ లెట్ సి వాట్ మిత్స్ వీ కెన్ డీబంక్ టుడే మిత్ వన్స్ యూ గెట్ మలేరియా యూ బికమ్ ఇమ్యూన్ టు ఇట్ దెర్ ఆర్ లాడ్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్స్ వై యూ క్యాన్ డెవలప్ ఇమ్యూనిటీ అన్ఫార్చునేట్లీ మలేరియా ఇస్ నాట్ వన్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ some people think that they get immune immunity because people who live in malaria endemic countries don't develop a severe infection however what we have to realize that malaria is a disease where you can develop infections again and again if you if the treatment is not done appropriately if you only take care of the acute infection and do not take care of the hepatic phase of the infection or the gametocytic phase of the infection relapses can occur for years together just from the same wa- parasite that is sitting in your own body the other thing that we've seen happen particularly more so commonly in the sub-saharan africa is that people can have low level parasitemia that means the parasite can l- stay in the blood f- at low levels and people are not even having significant symptoms in fact to prevent some of those relapses the world health organization has actually suggested that in some of these hyperendemic countries the south sub saharan africa some pockets of population can be universally treated for malaria at probably like a 6 month interval it is a myth that malaria uh, infection provides lifelong immunity if you consider just the year 2020 there were close to 247 million cases of malaria over 60000 deaths because of the coexistence of covid pandemic two thirds additional deaths were probably seen thanks to issues in accessing healthcare itself malaria can be a life threatening disease and is one of the major causes of death from infections worldwide malaria can cause a severe disease even if it doesn't lead to death and so has to be diagnosed early and treated appropriately malaria occurs typically about 8 to 25 days after the mosquito bite this is something that you have to remember for example when you take a chemo prophylaxis when you're traveling to endemic countries you have to ensure you're protected for about a month after you return to your home country uh, that is you travel left the endemic location because the disease can come up to 4 weeks after leaving after the mosquito bite myth anti malarial medications are not as effective as insect repellents now this is a myth and has to be understood a little anti malarial medications that are given to prevent development of malaria are very effective when used appropriately one thing you have to remember is you need to start these medications before you enter the endemic country and continue these medications for about a month after you go back to your home country because the infection can develop up to 25 days after the bite of the mosquito so anti malarial chemo prophylaxis is very effective when used appropriately insect repellents prevent mosquito bites and that can there can be uh, mosquito nets that are fortified by insect repellents or there can they can be sprays that are used on the person itself which are uh, deet based sprays myth malaria is not caused by mosquito bite during the day time this is a myth and let me explain malaria is caused by the bite of the female anopheles mosquito typical time that this mosquito is active is the, during the twilight hours both in the morning and the evening now having said that this is not the only time that the mosquito bites this is a time that the anopheles mosquito is most active so mosquito bite can occur at any time of the day and you have to take appropriate precautions throughout the day more precautions need to be taken during the twilight hours myth malaria risk is the same for everyone now this is a myth again generally for people who are living in countries or areas where malaria is endemic most people have a mild infection but it can kill people even in endemic countries but if you're traveling from a non endemic country to an endemic country then you tend to have a much more severe illness even for the people who remain in the same place malaria can be risky for certain people what are the things that put you at risk for severe malaria one extremes of age particularly children and elderly people two 
pregnancy. Pregnancy is a definite risk factor for malaria. Three, if your immunity is suppressed. So if you have any of these risk factors, you should make doubly sure that you're using the appropriate prophylaxis to prevent the development of malaria. Even in your own home, if you look at it, certain seasons tend to have more malaria. For example, malaria risk increases in rainy seasons because that's a time when more mosquitoes multiply. So this is a time when you have to be doubly careful to prevent development of malaria because even if you don't have risk factors, just the fact that more people develop malaria, the sheer numbers itself will make some people have more severe malaria. Now we all know that malaria is an acute febrile illness, but what we have to also realize that it's not the only symptoms. Yes, can you have fever? Can you have headache? Yes, to both of them. But we can also see, what we typically see is a high-grade fever with shaking chills, severe perspiration, and usually associated with nausea, vomiting, headache, uh, sometimes blurred vision, sometimes shortness of breath. All of these can be symptoms of malaria. You can have what is called a black color urine, where you have a hemoglobinuria, and you can have jaundice when your liver is affected. You can have bleeding because your blood co uh, coagulation parameters can be affected. So there can be a vast manifestations of malaria. Myth, malaria is not fatal. Now this is an absolute myth. Malaria is one of the most common infectious disease that kills people around the world. Particularly the falciparum malaria is known to kill people. Other malarial uh, pathogens like the vivax ovel and other pathogens also can kill, though the frequency is less. Death can be prevented by appropriate treatment at the right time. Today we have discussed a lot of myths and hopefully debunked some of them regarding malaria. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay informed. Please consult your doctor for accurate medical advice. Thank you and Namaste.